This is an instant grail and it gets better. Today we're opening the mail, we're talking about this book and tons more, all that and more coming up on Friday Night Vinyl. Hi, my name is Frank. It's Friday. That means time to kick back, relax, and talk music. How the heck are you doing, 33ers? Hope you've been, hope you had a great week. Hope uh, this season is treating you well. Back to school, back to work, all that sort of stuff. And thank you for coming back and supporting Channel 33 RPM so strongly after my break. Uh, I took a break in August, and you know when you come back, you never know what to expect. But man, we have been getting a lot of views and a a lot of subscribers so again thank you from the bottom of my heart I got a few cool things to go through today so let's get at it channel 33 rpm so the first thing we're gonna talk books once in a while we do talk books and I got this one this is the uh, biography from Steve Gorman and Steve was the former drummer for the Black Crows his book is called hard to handle the life and death of the Black Crows a memoir and I gotta tell you, I absolutely loved this book. He gets you right from the beginning. And what I found interesting is a lot of these books, if you've read enough, you'll note that they kind of follow a formula. At first, it's kind of like the artist's childhood and, and the kind of family they came from. And Steve basically skips all that with this book and gets right to the juice. Particularly, he dished out a, a lot of dirt, well, on himself and on all the band members, but particularly Chris and Richard Robinson. And these two dudes, I know we always knew as rock fans that they're quite dysfunctional, but they take dysfunction to a whole different level. And some of the stories that Steve tells in this book are, are crazy. Uh, he talks about how Rich got mad at the rest of the band and took off in the tour bus, leaving them the, leaving them behind. They talk about the Black Crows tour they were doing with Jimmy Page and how Richard, Rich absolutely pissed off Jimmy Page and basically caused the whole tour to be canceled. We hear about how greedy and selfish and money hungry Chris Robinson is, despite his um, public persona as being sort of a carefree hippie. He is anything but a carefree hippie. It's an easy read. I read it from cover to cover. And again, the stories are absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend this book if you haven't read it. Chris and Gorman, Hard to Handle the Life and Death of Black Crows. Even if you're not a Black Crows fan, if you're just a rock fan, worth picking up. Dear 33ers, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. A thumbs up also helps this channel continue to grow. I appreciate your support. Now, it's mail time! This package right here, big package, comes from my uh, friend Dave. Dave is a longtime viewer of this channel, and he likes to fly under the radar, so I'm not going to talk about where Dave is from, I'm not going to reveal his last name, but he's a very generous and a very cool cat. Anyway, he sent over this big package of records, and the customs declaration says there are 12, 12 records in here a box of 12 records so i'm excited to see what's in here dave thank you very much again not necessary at all and um and i'm very appreciative of it and you sharing your love of music with me and your musical knowledge and helping me learn stuff so let's open this up this by the way is seven pounds seven pounds of vinyl let's go through this so what's this first one this is my life with the thrill kill cult so i've heard of these guys but i, I can't say i'm i'm familiar with them looks like it's a 12 inch single Okay, I'm not familiar with these guys, but I look forward to checking them out. Are you familiar with the Thrill Kill Cult? If you are, inform me. Let me know more about these guys in the comments below this video. Oh, what is this? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So, Black Sabbath. Look at this. Black Sabbath. Greatest Hits. Picture Disc. So this doesn't come with a sleeve, so I will find an appropriate sleeve for this. I'm a huge Black Sabbath fan, so to get something from Black Sabbath that I don't already own is fantastic. So here's Black Sabbath Greatest Hits. So, ooh, we got the picture disc of it, and it's got the sleeve for it here, so maybe it goes into here. And okay, he's got it on the NEMS label. Black Wax as well. This was made in 
Holland. So, love it. What's this? God Bullies Dog Show. It looks autographed. So again, I'm not familiar with this one. Manufactured and marketed in Europe. That looks cool. God Bullies Dog Show. I look forward to giving that a spin. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I love it. Ooh, whoa, okay. <laughs> There's some really, really cool stuff coming up. Check this out, Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. Um, so this is a 12 inch, um, what would you call this, a maxi single, I guess? And these usually come from the UK. Anyway, here's the back. So Sweet Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses, backed with, uh, including as well, Move to the City, Whole lot of Rosie, Live, and It's So Easy Live. So that's pretty awesome. So where did this come from? It did come from the UK. So wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dave. And it gets better. Whoa! <laughs> wow, okay. Jeez. Pardon me, but look at this. ACDC Power Age. Do you see this? Look at this. It's a promo copy. This is a US promo copy from 1978. And of course it had the um, suggested cuts here, the DJ, let's take it out of the sleeve so you can take a closer look. This jacket is a nice shape. I love, love gold stamp promos. And you see here it says, suggested cuts, uh, rock and roll damnation, down payment blues, it lists them with the, um, the running time. And there it is on the Atlantic label. That is awesome. Wow, there's more, it keeps getting better. I'm speechless. Wow. Okay. Look at this. This is a Randy Rhodes bootleg. And I'm a huge, huge, I can't stress how big of a Randy Rhodes fan I am. This is live at the Montreal Forum, July 31st, 1981. And I'm gonna have to look this up, but I remember hearing at least rumors that this show formed the first three sides of what became the 1987 live Ozzy Osbourne Randy Rhodes tribute album. So I'm gonna, I'll listen back and I'll, I'll listen to and I will report back to that. And again, a huge, huge, huge Randy fan. So that's amazing. <laughs> you guys aren't gonna wanna miss what's coming up. So this is a Motley Crue maxi single. This is Too Young to Fall in Love off of Shout Out the Devil. And um, this is a promo copy, not for sale. Again, I love promos. So this would have been going back to 1983. And this is a, a white label promo, which is amazing. Uh, Too Young to Fall in Love um, from the album Shout Out the Devil, backed with, again, Too Young to Fall in Love. So this is a remix version. Is this a remix version? Remix of LP version, side A. 337 side B. So is it the same track twice? That's a good question, but it's a remix version. So I'm super curious to hear that. Maybe it's a, a radio remix. And what's this? Van Halen. Van Halen. Is this? Whoa. This. I've read about this. Look at this. This is. Uh, this side, Running the Devil, Eruption, I Scream Man, other side, You Really Got Me, Jamie's Crying. I believe these are the original demos that were used on the Van Halen album. But I'll leave more information below, but I'm pretty sure what that is. The long, um, discussed um, Looney Tunes version of it. Actually, hold on, I'm going to pause this. Okay, I just looked this up here online and on Discogs. And if this one is the real deal, which it appears to be, this thing is worth a mint. So the story behind this release is in January 1978, Warner Brothers sent radio stations five songs from Van Halen pressed on special red vinyl. The standard cardboard sleeve pictured a pointy Van Halen logo and um, yeah, so this looks like what this is. So this was a promo sent 
to radio stations. I gotta research this some more because this is mind blowing. And this instantly becomes a grail. This is an instant grail. Dave, mind blown, man. Wow. And this is one I'm not familiar with. Uh, God Bullies. Plastic Eye Miracle. Again, this is autographed. So us and them, uh, I don't know what this is. So I look forward to checking that one out as well. And uh, there's something here. What's in this bag? Don't talk about yet. So I'm gonna have to kill the camera here and look at this one uh, in private. But uh, perhaps someday, dear 33ers, you can find out what was in here. Dave, 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 thank you so much, my God. Mind absolutely blown. I owe you so much. We're gonna talk offline to see uh, what we're gonna do about this. Dear 33ers, let me know what you thought of today's episode. Again, I'm just so humbled and eternally grateful to Dave. Man, thank you so much. If you dug this, dear 33ers, I appreciate a quick thumbs up. Otherwise, I hope you have a great evening. Until next time, keep on spinning.